Wow, what is this? It kind of looks like a giant wasp. But that's not actually what it is. Can you guess what it is? The answer is going to surprise you. It's time for a little entomology lesson. This is Bart Coppens and I work for a natural reserve in Brazil as an entomologist. And today I found an awesome insect I want to make a video about. Let's start the intro. And I'll explain everything about this monster. Have you ever seen a giant ant queen? No? Well, consider yourself educated now. Yes, ants are tiny creatures, but their queens can indeed be massive. I found this one in southeast Brazil in the state of Rio de Janeiro, and this is the queen of a leaf cutter ant colony. I think the specific species may be Atacephalotus, but please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm no ant expert, but I know for sure that this is a species of leaf cutter. A few times per year, winged queens fly into the sky in massive numbers. This phenomenon is called the nuptial flight. And nuptial flights are an important phase in the reproduction of most ant, termite and some bee species. During the flight, virgin queens mate with males and then land to start a new colony for themselves. Now these queen ants, after being fertilized, lose their wings and then burrow in the ground to live a subterranean life and start a new colony. Nuptial flights occur during pre-dawn hours, when we're talking about this species, and are synchronized across colonies in a population. Massive emergencies occur sporadically during the year. On mornings following nuptial flight, trails and clearings are sprinkled with large queens and males and often predators absolutely decimate them. Let me show you some evidence of that in fact. Now I did a quick survey on the road and I found many of them, but I was only able to find one that wasn't missing the abdomen. You see, these things get preyed on by birds massively. And what predators will do is they will catch the insect and bite off the abdomen and discard the rest. And the rest of the bodies, they survive as a zombie. I found dozens of them, but I was only able to find one that still had its abdomen. So this is going to be shocking. Warning. These are pretty much zombie insects. Let me show you. I collected many of them on the road. But as you can see, all of these are missing their body. Can you see it? All of them are missing an abdomen and it's quite shocking and unnerving but that's how nature goes so here as you can see they're doing a very sad attempt at flying some of them are escaping or walking on the ground here but all of these have been preyed on by birds and other mammals well birds are not mammals so I shouldn't say other mammals by birds and small mammals or pretty much any of the insectivores here in this area. And as you can see, these don't have abdomens. Now, interestingly, the insects are still alive, despite the health of their body is missing. So, that's crazy. And if you look here on the road, you'll see many of them walking around aimlessly. And of all these insects, I was only able to find one that didn't have its abdomen chewed off. So nature is very cruel as you can see. Yep, that's why they fly in massive numbers, because they are live food for most animals, but a small percentage survive to make new nests. You're right if you commented how similar it looks to a wasp. After all, wasps and ants are related. They are in the same order, the Hymenoptera. I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, and by the way, not only animals eat ant queens, however. Believe it or not, but in Brazil it can be a delicacy. Some people collect and eat the queens as well. A rare gastronomic delicacy in Brazil is called isas, or ant queens. In also, generations of indigenous people treated the ants as a protein substitute for fish and monkeys, for example. Reportedly, they taste pretty good and taste like mint. Hmm, <laughs> sounds tasty, perhaps. I'm sweating a lot because it's very hot and I'm just a gringo from the Netherlands working in Brazil. I still have to get used to the heat. But man, what a nice specimen. Who would have thought? 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you want to see more crazy insects like this one, well you better subscribe because I'm making more videos. Oh yeah. See you soon.